So what I'm actually going to tell you is straight off my head. I'm I've not got any material here, so uh, bear with me and skip forward if you need to. Hopefully, it won't get too boring. But here's the insight into my situation. Still mad. Before I start, I uh, tried not to feature my face too much. Um, I feel that this should purely be down to the stoma itself or Crohn's disease, um, just high left on, on those in particular. For those people that are interested, here's my story. When I was in my early 20s, I had a sudden um, surge of blood when going to the toilet and obviously got to see the doctor straight away so he could assess my situation there and after initial investigation he suggested going to a specialist at hospital because of the length of time that had actually been happening so I went off to Alan Brooks Hospital in Cambridge and they then did some tests and reported back to my GP. So the GP then said that I would probably have ulcerative colitis. Um, they weren't quite sure on how Far the ulcerations had spread. So that was the first diagnosis, and it was only actually a few years on that I found it was uh, Crohn's disease. So uh, you should be able to see the link below to the explanation there between Crohn's and ulcerative colitis, and there are plenty of other videos around that you can watch. Hopefully you would have seen my introduction to Stone Manor channel and that will give you an insight as to why I set up this as well as my story now. Shout and holler your story in the comments section below. Once I found out that I was dealing with this condition uh, it was just a matter of firstly watching what I was eating um, although I did actually have a very strict diet. Um, I was very into my health and fitness and uh, didn't think that that would be a problem at all. So I then looked at other possibilities that could have actually triggered uh, the, the blood in the, the, the first instance there. So uh, for me I feel that at that moment in my life, um, although I was trying to do well at work, there was quite a bit of pressure and um, the company actually went into liquidation. So. I look back at it and feel that it was quite possibly stress that caused um, the initial illness to come on. Um, uh, there are links to uh, stress being a cause for, for many people and um, I believe that that was one for me. Fly on over to socialise on our Twitter and Facebook channels. I continued going to Adam Brooks Hospital, uh, who are absolutely fabulous. I, I can't fault any, anything for uh, the way they've supported me over a couple of decades now. Um, right from the beginning, they were very investigative. Um, they gave me the results uh, as, as soon as they could, um, let me know what my situation was um, and they were able to diagnose that it was Crohn's disease as opposed to ulcerative colitis at uh, the early stages there. So um, I then went through quite a few visits to get the right medication and as many people might experience there are so many uh, medications out there that it's really just trying those that, that fit the person and that's what I did. I ended up 
going through from the very minor uh, medications right through to self-injecting and um, now I'm on uh, infliximab which is a uh, for me an eight, eight week course of an infusion and as well as the stoma bag now uh, I'm not, not looking back to the, the horrible times that I had. The first few years gradually became worse for me. I was trying each medication as I went along and the ulcerations were becoming more and more severe and giving me um, the, the stomach cramps that you get. Um, I was fortunate not, not to be sick. Um, it, for me it was just purely the diarrhea side so uh, I, I was just able to go to the toilet 20, 30 times a day sometimes. Uh, completely uncontrollable. It would just come on and no matter where I, I was I just had to, to go to the toilet. Uh, unfortunately lots of times this actually happened where I, I then had to change so um, quite a debilitating disease as you'd expect and um, doesn't put much confidence in yourself when you don't have a change with you for instance and you've had to jump into a bush to go to the toilet. Uh, the dig dignity side is quite low for yourself. So I have always tried to think positive and I think that uh, in my mind as well as my health and eating should have an effect and always watch that. It's not a guarantee that this will be something that, that works for people, uh, but again, I've tried everything. I'm gonna finish this video now because it's actually taken too long to record between the last uh, cut for this story up until now. So I'm gonna leave this open to uh, your questions. Please add your questions below. I shall get back to you as soon as I can with those answers and I hope you can continue watching my channel where I'll be sharing uh, videos from other people to promote our community. Fortunately I'm not ill but I'm going to end this video now. I hope you enjoy the rest of my channel and I shall look out for your questions. Thank you. For more of our videos about greater times to live with a stoma bag, choose one of our featured playlists or subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell to receive our latest videos. Stoma.